What is going on ladies and gentlemen, this is the phone camera here and we're doing the, like I promised, 500 subscriber giveaway in the before this vlog starts, so if you guys entered that 500 subscriber giveaway, congrats on you. I have all the names here and I'm going to be crumpling up, putting them in the hat for you guys, that way you guys can see that this is not rigged, uh, whoever put in the double entries got the double entries, so yeah, here we go. We got HHN boy, hashtag HHN74 on Twitter. Crumpling it up, putting it in the hat. Uh, we got Movies of the Damned on Twitter. We got Will Martinez on Twitter. Alberto Beltran on Twitter. Fractured Compass Productions on Twitter. Cloudy Cloud 697 on uh, Instagram. Bradley underscore HG on Instagram. Uh, let's see. It's a grace. It's a grace dot E on Instagram. Horror movies and beyond on Instagram. Go check her out on YouTube as well as Fractured Compass. And then we got Anarchy Jones on YouTube. Cloudy Cloud 697 on YouTube. So he's got two entries. Uh, Ricardo Arias on YouTube. Mercy He No Host on YouTube. Shout out to Little Sis. Steven Tapia on YouTube. Ronnie Cervantes on YouTube. And Matthew Barstow on YouTube. So, we got a lot of uh, names in this giveaway. And there they are right there. Mixing them up a little bit. Those in there too. And the winner will receive... The winner will receive an enlisted owner signed copy by Jed Bryan himself on Blu-ray. So, yeah, that's a good giveaway right there. So, that's what the winner will receive. Uh, I'm going to mix it up a little bit more. And let's see who won this giveaway. Ah. It's a grace.e on Instagram. You have won the unlisted owner giveaway. Uh, so congrats on that. So what is going on ladies and gentlemen? We are here. Knights of Horror Crew is here. We are here at <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights 2019. The official opening night. Yesterday was fan preview night and it seemed like that was the official opening night. But we are here. We're going to walk through some mazes. We're going to walk through some scare zones. Guys, most hyped maze for tonight. What happened? What? Most hyped maze tonight. Killer Clowns, always! Ghostbusters and Killer Clowns. I'm Killer Clowns. But anyway, uh, we are here at HHN, back there. And it is going to be fun tonight. We are super excited to be here. And yeah, this is night one. So, let's do this. Welcome to the Madhouse! <laughs> We all go a little mad sometimes. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? We're here with... Where's Fosto? There's Fosto. Fosto's there. We got Ashley. We got Fosto's sister back there. The whole gang is here. We are so excited to be here. We just went through the opening ceremony of HHN 2019. As you can see, we are in spirits and demons of the East. It is amazing, and we are just happy to be here. So let's go. Let's check out some mazes, check out the rest of the scare zones. And yeah, let's go.
So we just did House of a Thousand Corpses, Walking Dead, and Holidays in Hell. And I have to say, Walking Dead was pretty good. Uh, I think still 2011 is the best one, but it was still pretty good. Holidays in Hell killed it. What do you guys all think? Holidays in Hell and, Wal and House of a Thousand Corpses. Holidays in Hell was fucking dope. Holidays in Hell. Holidays in Hell. Holidays in Hell. Holidays in Hell. It was fun. We had a good time. We're going to go check out now Us and Pandora's Box. And yeah, we'll let you know what, how those are at the end of the night. How's everybody liking the event so far, though? Yeah! Yeah! Alright, so we just did Us and Pandora's Box. It was pretty good. I really liked the Pandora's Box. Another great original. Hope we get more originals in the future. That'd be really fun. We did Us. Us was freaking awesome. They had a lot of movie accurate scenes and I cannot wait to do that one again when we come back to the event. So definitely recommend those two. Now we're going to head down to the lower lot to do Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, Ghostbusters, and Creepshow. Then Stranger Things and then Killer Clowns from Outer Space. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just did Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, Creepshow, and Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is probably my favorite towards the night so far. Um, loved it. Scenes were awesome. Freaking Stay Puff. A lot of iconic scenes in here, and I loved it. Frankenstein versus the Wolfman. Pretty good sequel to Universal Monsters. I still think Universal Monsters is better, but this maze wasn't bad. This maze was actually really good. It had a lot of cool scenery. Kind of some sequel setups for this uh, maze, which we saw when we saw Frankenstein and the Wolfman in the uh, in Frankenstein's lab, which I thought was cool. Uh, and then we did Creep Show. Now Creep Show was, it was okay. I thought it was going to be a little bit better. There was more I wanted to see, but they, they did a lot for what they had. And a lot of the scenes were freaking awesome. So we're going to head to Stranger Thing next and then Killer Clowns. So stay tuned for those. Ladies and gentlemen, so we did Stranger Things and Killer Clowns. We're filming this after the event, <laughs> and uh, Stranger Things was pretty disappointing. I mean, I could speak for probably everyone in this car. It was not good. <laughs> we were bummed. <laughs> there was like a couple good scenes, but good like aspects it was mostly about Will. And like I understand the season was about Will recovering, but I would have loved to see like Eleven close down the portal, maybe some more Hopper and Steve. Steve in the bus scene. Plus, they didn't show a good scene with Will from season two, where he's mm -hmm. getting like the what was it? Whatever was that it was when in he's in the him? field. Yeah. No, right oh, the field, and then also when he was in um, like in the, the little shack area. No, when he was in that room and like they were trying to get it, it out, like he was just like yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. So yeah, they didn't too. show that, and the season three stuff that they had. I mean, I think one Orlando's, scene. Orlando's was better, and I don't say that about a lot of things, but Orlando's Stranger Things maze was better. Uh, Killer, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. 
saved and yeah, that disappointment. After Beautiful that. maze. It was so the so best good. maze at the event, hands down. Um, and I loved every moment of it. I'm a diehard fan of this movie, and yeah, I uh, thought it was awesome. And as you saw, or as you're gonna see, we interviewed <laughs> John Mazzari. So take a look at that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just finished Halloween Horror Nights. There's uh, Fosto, Tammy, Ashley. We got a special guest. Someone who texted me as we got out of the Killer Clowns maze was nice enough to meet up with us out of his very busy day, Mr. John Mazzari. <laughs> uh, so we're all going to talk about uh, the maze, Killer Clowns, uh, and what our thoughts was. Uh, so we're going to start down here with Fosto. Yes. Fosto. Yes, sir. What did you think of Killer Clowns from Outer Space? Uh, it was a great maze, probably one of my favorites, top maze of all time. Barely saw the movie on Saturday live at the podcast, and they really did a great job bringing the maze to life. The Easter egg was the old man finding the tent from the outside to the uh, shadow puppets. I saw that was great. I wish we could have seen the T-Rex. We only saw like the little bunnies. But that was cool. Fatso drinking out of the cotton candy. That was fun. The only thing I wish they would have had a full life-size uh, Clownzilla. Clownzilla. Yeah. <laughs> but even then, they had the full face, very large, very huge, and it was very amazing. Tammy, what did you think of Killer Clowns? I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> um, I don't, well, because it was like my top maze going in, and it's my top maze going out, like first night. So um, I thought it was great. I feel like there's a lot of like good photo opportunities. Like I had Anthony's phone the entire time, and I'm like, oh, I have to get... I got pictures with most of the people in scaring me. I did know at one point I didn't notice uh, one of them came out and I was like, oh, I got like pinned against the wall. That was a good one. Um, it was super fun though. I do agree about the console thing. Um, I mean, but it was amazing anyways. Got a good shot of that. Um, other than that, uh, the fudgy wudgy bar. I'm still waiting on that Universal. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Ashley? Basically same thing they said. And for me, it was pretty special because growing up, I would see bits of this movie and I'm just like sitting there as a kid. I'm like, What's going on? And then I saw it again last week for the live stream, and I'm just sitting there and going, "This movie is incredible." And then going in and basically just like reliving and like you're in the movie, you're stepping into the movie. It's like Tammy said, I'm not a lot of words. Can I just add, it's like the most fun maze ever. It really There's is. So yeah. many bright colors I and like if you wear UV, like reactive clothes, it's the most fun thing ever. Like you don't want to leave the maze. Yeah. I walked in. Smiling, I came out sm like smiling harder. It was so fun to go into, and then the smells were so good in there. And I don't yes. like cotton candy, and it smelled so good. In you there. want to lick the cocoons? <laughs> okay. I was told there's gonna be an ice cream truck at the end. An ice cream truck? Yeah, because oh, I wanted a I wanted a fudgy wudgy, a um, icy wicy, and a lick a stick. A lick a stick. And we didn't get it. No. Uh, um, now, 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 I noticed. I now I did not see the ice cream truck. Which I think they have in Orlando. I think they do. I think they have the ice cream truck. On the outside of the maze, they do. They, they do. have the yeah. ice cream truck. Like the entrance, right? Here, they, they, uh, you hear um, Peter Lacasse, who plays one of the Terenzi brothers, who says, uh, there's a line that he says about, you know, uh, uh, may maybe they will want to stop and get a bite to eat or something like that. There's a line, that, there's some line that he has that you hear uh -huh. as you're, you know, coming from behind you. That's another thing. The, the sound, it was like coming from everywhere. It was. You know, it just wasn't like from one source, so you were like surrounded it by it. you look around the room. Yeah. Because yeah. we were and, doing and this the, in the maze. And when the guy says, oh, this isn't a, this isn't a cotton candy factory. I don't think we're in a... <laughs> this I, isn't a factory. I, I think this is a... I don't believe in UFOs or whatever the lines <laughs> were way. at that science. It, they were like coming from you. It's like you felt like the actors were behind you. They're, you were there the with them. The door. There's another door. Another door. That's a good one. That was another so door. Funny. And they timed it out too. Another and I'm door. thinking there's another door. It's a curtain. Yes, it's I'm another just, door. I'm just another fascinated. Door. You got to figure all the work that went. They, they have to. The, the, there's a technical aspect to get that to work so effortlessly and be fluidly. Be fun. Yeah. That's what it is. It was very fluid. Uh, and. Um, now, I don't understand when you say it's an Easter egg, it was a surprise that there was going to be the uh, farmer. Yes, because yes. normally outside of mazes, there There's really nothing. isn't anything interactive, no right. scenes or this anything. Like, it's like the pre-show. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's exactly. like, it's like and the, the warm-up warm act, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. the warm-up act, act. Right. 
and the actor was really good and it would have been really cool to, if they actually had a dog I was so happy yeah. about like the balloon like the, the balloon dog. Did you catch oh the balloon dog? And they had the balloon dog. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's my favorite part. I was so happy to part. see that. I was so happy to see now, that. Now, in Orlando, uh, when they had the scare zone, <clears throat> that balloon dog, every once in a while, it would pop, pop. <laughs> and they would have a funeral for him. <laughs> I, I, I saw that. that they I, had saw that. that. I saw that. I saw Universal. They had Shorty come out and like he had his boxing gloves. Yeah. He's still has it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. that's right. I wish yeah. that was so here. Cute. Yeah. Now, now do you, you do, there's a few things you need to know about the Killer Clown universe that not many people know. Okay, and this is my bizarre fan theory. I, I think that Shorty is a girl clown. Oh my god! That's yeah, I think, me! Yeah. I, think, I think she's a girl clown, and um, it was her dream to leave the clown planet. You know, because she's the smallest, smallest of the clown, like, but with the biggest dreams. So it was oh. like, it was her vision to maybe leave and probably find another place to live and have another source of food. <laughs> she's the mastermind behind this whole thing. I think she may be the mastermind behind That's it too. Scary. And, and you really know, is. I, I gotta like tell you, key, yeah. in, in communicating with fans over the years, there's a lot of people that um, identify with Shorty because Shorty's short, Shorty's cute, and, and you quirky. know, and you know, she she. Well, I say it's a she. We're gonna go she. Stood up for herself when she got bullied. Yeah, and that, that resonates with people. You know, I feel like you know I'm not uh, understood, and I'm I'm small, or like maybe people don't underestimated. Underestimated yeah. people that recognize me, and then you know, it kind of gives me courage. Someone messes with you, you just like hit them where they don't. You don't have to physically hit them, but like you knock you block you, you knock yeah. their block off in a way that they've <laughs> never they've the never under, they've never um, uh, anticipated. Yeah, yeah. I would have known there's a deeper meaning to killer clones. I'm um, <laughs> really not gonna think you know what there's like deep, there's deep meaning everything. to everything. Yeah. You know, and like why did they come here? You know, mm. what, it, you someone know? asked in the live stream like who threw those pies at the end? Oh yeah, oh, the wow. biggest mystery of the movie. At the very end, and that got me who threw the pies? pies? Well, I think here's what happened. They just it was it was ejected from the ship when it blew up. That's what okay. I thought. Like an after, like leftovers. Yes. leftovers. I want to see more of the actual Killercom planet. <gasps> the, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like a well, yeah, well, yeah. I, yeah. Or it, John knows something, but he can't I, talk about. No, it. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to tell you. Crazy, I'll tell you crazy fan theories. Well, basically, the clowns themselves. They had nothing to do developing that technology. It was kind of like given to them by um, the the uh, the not their home planet, but the planet that their their home planet ro- uh, uh, rotates, around rotates around. Uh, uh, is a satellite oh, for. Okay. So it's a basic. Their planet is a moon of a larger planet, and those people th- that that civilization is no longer there, and they kind of left that that technology for them and they just know how to operate it maybe maintain it yeah but basically they just need to eat all the time and have these various uh, you know there's a lot of role playing there's like they're always trying to one they're always trying to the clowns are always trying to one up each other you know and we don't know if clownzilla is the biggest of the clowns he may be of just a, the bunch right there he might you know there may be the regular clowns there's a clownzilla there may be something way above that mm-hmm. we don't know yet no. Yet. yet, you don't know yet. Oh, oh yet is a cute word. And you know, when when I first saw the movie, <clears throat> the Kyoto 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 Brothers asked me, you know, what is, what's your favorite part? I go, man, that spaceship. I think the whole movie could have taken place in that spaceship. I would have been happy. Yeah, what are the When do we get to go back into the spaceship? I was genuinely felt like a little kid going through the spaceship in the maze. Yeah. I think we all were. Yeah. I was like literally like, like, when I was five years old, I watched this movie, and now I get to walk through the spaceship. You lived this it. is a dream come true. Yeah. You lived it. Yeah, and, and, and it's obvious that, like, inside it's bigger than what appears outside, so it's, like, transdimensional. There's, like, like... Uh, there's probably like gravitational lensing going on where it's so like physics. it seems like it's small but it's, but it's really, actually very large it's like Mary Poppins bag where it's like you don't know how like right yeah. it's always <laughs> stuff coming out of that bag you know? and that's how it felt that's how it looked too right yeah, so. so it's a and, and that's one of the things people like about this movie is that it's, it's it's bizarre as hell and it's very imaginative it's very colorful you know and I mean the first times I've seen it the first time I saw it on film it I go wow this is a, actually a very pretty looking film the, 
colors because the Kyoto Brothers are very they're artists you know mm -hmm. they really know how they, they know all their colors and contrasts and how to manipulate them uh, to, to create that uh, vision and, and sometimes you know even they they were saying you know when I was doing the music he says hey, she goes, they goes thanks for taking our, our movie seriously because you could have the music could have made it silly you know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, well, so, uh, so we make it legitimate. It, it's still we were waiting. We were, we were waiting in line to get in the maze, and I, and I sent you the video. Uh -huh. I tagged you in it, but we were like waiting in line. And I put, I said something like, "When you're waiting in line for the maze, but oh, John yeah. Mazzari's music is keeping you going." Uh -huh. And right as I said that, the march played. <laughs> right, right. That's I've like my probably all-time favorite song that you've ever put together. That came on the car right. too when we got here. Yeah, too. and when we went in the car, we we have a playlist that we put together, and we put a lot of the Killer Clowns mm -hmm. uh, score in it and that was one of the things I was playing on the way up here it was like this march is like it's something else I, I, one well, of my I think songs. I told you the trivia uh, last time I saw you is that uh, way before that I, uh, there's a band that I played in and we were going to start doing original music and that's one of the things that I said hey let's do this yeah. what is it I don't know it's like a riff what is it called? I don't know. I don't know. It's just and it was like dun 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 And they go, what chord is that? I go, well, I don't know. It's not a chord. It's a riff. It's like a guys, the riff. Get it? You know, it's a riff. You know, it's just yeah. But if what kind of chords is? And they say, well, it would make an F major seven chord. And they go, that's a that's a jazz chord. We're not playing jazz. Well, we are now. So it just sat there and did nothing until like so that when I saw the movie, I go. I know what to do. That was my chance. <laughs> I know I can take that thing out. I don't that even was... know what it was called. Now it's the Killer Clown March. Right. So and uh, so, but you know, I mean, I wasn't gonna let it die. I just knew that there was there was a at some point in my life I would be able to do it again. Mm -hmm. You know, have it come out again. Yeah. So definitely. That was a little bit of trivia there. But over the overall, what'd you think of the maze in general? What was what me was, yeah. personally? Yes. Oh, I was, uh, I I was. Uh, very uh, enchanted. I think that's the word I'm looking for. It's very enchanted. It felt like a little kid, just like looking everything in awe, all the detail, the all the lighting and colors. They yeah. really got it down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. There was a lot of there was a lot of work put into this. There was a lot of love, and um, you know the scare actors, the performers. Mm -hmm. Was it my imagination? Wasn't there that one part? There was like four clowns, and it's like. Are you guys gonna move? Oh yeah, oh, the one that got the Yeah, yeah. The ones with the pie, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and then I thought, oh, that's they're just like that. Those are mannequins. I still like, question Whoa. myself. I still question. Yeah. Like, However, you're gonna move. You're gonna move. Okay. Even if they look like mannequins, they still creep. Me okay, out. here's yeah. one. Yeah. When you were in the bathroom, like when you were in the bathroom with the baby clowns. Oh, oh my god! Did that's I, the one that got me. Did I miss the sequence? Because there's the there's the shower. Yeah. Was there someone behind the Debbie, tower? I think Debbie, oh, well, I, at least in Orlando, Debbie was in the, they had a Deb, Debbie. Debbie comes in the she shower. Was, she was all like, she's in the bathroom just fighting the clown. Because I, th I was going to go through again yeah. to see if. We didn't see anybody, didn't see we didn't see anybody pop out of the yeah. shower. Yeah. I think it was just a secret. I would have thought they would have put like Debbie in there. Right. Yeah. To, and yeah. like by like the, the cabinet that. And I would have liked to see, the things that I would have liked to see in the maze, Debbie and Mike more. Mm -hmm. Like, I would like to see them kind of, I, I like that we hear them, which is cool. Yeah. But I like to see, I would like to Even see them explore once. like the maze, like. Well, I, I, I had a, I was tempted to like do that, but I go. <laughs> what, isn't that kind of perverted? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you, what did you think about the uh, the officer puppet scene, Officer Mooney well, puppet scene? Well, that's actually the the most gruesome scene in the movie. It's actually kind of mean too when you think of it. Kind of. I'm still curious. curious. Why would you do that to because someone? Kind of I'm curious be the science behind that. I want to see the we science behind that. that. We yeah. should figure that out. Is it like yeah. his spine? Is he messing with his vocal? Yeah, I don't know what is going I don't know, on, but man. it's a technology that we have no every, idea. Every time I watch that movie, it's Damn like, it, okay, that. this scene is like, right. I this, I this, was, Maybe this was, went, be, this was ahead of its time. <laughs> well, you saw the, there's the scene where they, they were going to run up um, when he was doing the puppet show, and the and they were going to come and run either. him over, yeah. and it just that clown just like flies right it up. Flies right up, exactly. Hey, you know, there's they've got powers. They've yeah. got powers. They do. So I got to ask you a question, just because the movie just recently came out. It Chapter Two just came out. Okay, I didn't see it. So have you seen Have you seen any It's though? The I see. I, I s the original Tim Curry yeah. movie of the week thing on. Yes, I did. It's okay, Tim Curry is an OG. He's an OG though. <laughs> yeah. He, he puts, so yeah. who do you think would win in a fight? The Killer Clowns or Pennywise? 
Well, you know, there's a YouTube video where they've done that. They've an, they've done an analysis of that. Yeah. And I think it was a draw. I'm not sure. Because the Killer Clowns got some powers with them. They got powers and they got technology. Yeah, but Pennywise is another is another thing. He That's can turn he can turn into your worst fear. Or, yeah, but is it? He's not just a clown. He's like all kinds of creatures. He is yeah. known as the Ear of Worlds. Right. That's frightening. Um, all right, that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, for this video. We are all exhausted, tired. I'm pretty good. <laughs> In the words of the Ghostbusters, we came, we saw. We, we kicked, kicked its ass. ass. Um, and the flowers are still standing. I looked at the ray. I looked at the ray. I looked at the shop ray. I'm that tired. All right. But, yeah, we, uh, we're we done. And uh, we had a, a, a fun time at HHN. Thanks for some of the fans who came up to talk to us. Uh, that was awesome took a picture with you guys uh, and a special shout out to John Mazzari for taking the time out of his day to meet us at City Walk and do that little interview with us uh, that was that was awesome so thank you John thank you to all the fans and we will see you guys at Not Scary Farm next week and Horror Nights again next Saturday <laughs>